Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More Q&As coming at you from the Ask Golf Guru app. This one's talking about the odd shank, hitting well and then the odd shank. Let's get stuck in. Okay, hi Mark. I'm having trouble with getting consistency in my swing using mid to long irons. I can go from hitting a perfect shot to hitting a shank. Is there anything I can do to ensure I have the same setup each time so I can get the consistency I need to improve? Thanks, Mark from Scotland. Right, Mark, interesting question. Obviously, without seeing your swing, I can't see why you have the odd shank to the good shots in there. Um, why, the reason I've picked this question to answer, because I think it's quite an interesting one, is that you feel that you are standing differently or there's something different in your setup between the good shots to the ones that you shank. Um, I would challenge that for people. I think that's a real common misconception for people. Um, this probably isn't the best setup in the world, but there was no shank. I didn't quite get underneath that one, but it went straight. Um, so the face was controlled. And if you gave me enough goes at it, I would probably be able to manage it, and that one's not a bad shot as well. Very massively conflicting setups. What happens is my club delivery is relatively consistent, and if you were to put me in one of those wild setups, I would measure my club delivery, see what the patterns are, and work on some thoughts to make sure the patterns kept hitting targets. So if I always called it out of the bottom, I'd work on a feeling to try and move that. Your shank is coming from a movement that you do in your swing, a dynamic movement. Uh, rather than you being set up differently. And lots of golfers believe that. They believe, that, oh, they couldn't have hit that one well because that's, I must have not been stood right or posture wasn't quite right. It's not really so much the case that I see. There'll be something you're doing in your swing. To give you an example, common one I see from golfers who tend to get the handle very high at impact. So they come to hit the ball and the hand, they raise the handle, hit the ball. It's the way they try and put force down in through the club head is by slamming the club down by raising the handle up. Um, I often see them, people suffer a little bit from shanking. It's not a setup. There's something might be in their grip that they do encourages that raising the handle, which we might work on. Or sometimes it's actually just the way they've worked out to hit the ball is to raise the handle. So we work on them learning how to not raise the handle so much and control the handle and the head. And then they feel confident enough to stand in any way within reason to hit decent shots. Uh, I can show you some data, I could show you some data where um, I've got some people hitting some, where they're coming for lessons, hitting very inconsistent shots. So left, right, short, full distance. And they say they feel like they're hitting, they must be swinging completely different to hit such a good shot to then such a bad one. Where if you look at their club delivery numbers, they're very, very similar. And what is changing really is the strike pattern on the face. So they're doing something that makes it hard for them to strike out in the middle of the face each time. It's not their setup, it's generally more a dynamic movement that they've got, which tempts. So by raising the handle off, then you're moving the neck a little bit closer to the ball. Not always, but can be. And then if you just move it that fraction too close, you get that shank in there. But we're talking millimetres. When you measure with GC2 HMT, which I normally use, you, we're millimetres from hitting a shank to a good shot. It's a very small dynamic movement where I can stand feet out of a decent setup position and still hit good shots as long as I deliver that club correctly. Go and get a lesson. Go and look at how your club delivery is. Go and see what the pattern of the shank is coming from. Don't just use video camera, go and get on a launch monitor and see what your delivery is. There'll be something in your delivery that could be fixed. Now that could be fixed with setup, but it'll be more understanding that delivery uh, and controlling it, which will control your strikes a bit more to help you get lower. Thanks for the question, hope that helps. Post comments, I'd love to hear. Thanks for buying the app and we'll speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.